Good Sunday morning. We're nearing the end of the month of July and currently it's the ninth wettest July in Flint. We have measured 5.71 inches of rain so far. We have only measured more than six inches of rain during the month of July, six times dating back to 1921. We do have some showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for Monday and Tuesday. If Flint gets a thunderstorm, we could see that number exceed six inches. Well, temperatures for the month have been near normal and here's a look at Saginaw's observed rainfall for the entire month uh, pretty close to normal and then again in Flint certainly but it's been wetter than normal well over five inches with the potential to exceed six inches if we get some rain over the airport tomorrow on into Tuesday. We're also watching the tropics our next tropical disturbance here has the potential to become a tropical depression not within the next two days but within the next week and it could form somewhere here inside this orange area. Now at this point, some lower confidence, whether it moves into the Gulf or whether it moves up the East Coast. If it does, that would be next weekend. So still plenty of time to keep an eye on the storm. But if it does develop and become strong enough to be a named storm, it would become Debbie. We are looking at the next 48 hours. No chance of it forming. But over the next week, there's a 40% chance that it does form. Let's set the stage now. 80s for highs here over over the next five days today we will enjoy one more dry day before tomorrow and Tuesday showers and thunderstorms move in Wednesday looks to be dry but Wednesday night carrying through the end of the week those thunderstorm chances do return we're also going to be watching the humidity levels increase a bit here today lower 60s so we'll notice it it'll be a little bit higher than where it has been the past couple of days but tomorrow and Tuesday dew points up near 70 that means it will certainly be very humid for us so high pressure is now moving away. We'll still have mostly sunny skies through today, but clouds will be thickening up tonight. Scattered thunderstorms then are in the forecast for tomorrow, and then showers and thunderstorms are likely on Tuesday as this cold front comes in our direction. So here's a closer look. We'll be looking at mostly sunny skies through today. We will have a few high clouds out there, so the sun will be filtered at times, but nonetheless, temperatures make a move into the mid to upper 80s with a south southwesterly wind between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Tonight, the clouds will thicken up. An isolated shower or rumble of thunder is not out of the question. Most areas will likely stay dry, though. We'll see lows ranging from the mid 60s to around 70 degrees. And then for Monday, our best chance of getting wet will be during the afternoon and evening when scattered showers and thunderstorms move in. Highs tomorrow just a tad cooler than today, but still low to mid 80s. And tomorrow will be notably more humid than what we'll see for today. Moving on into Tuesday, then showers and thunderstorms will again be likely as that cold front comes through. No severe weather is expected for Monday or Tuesday, but some locally heavy rainfall will be possible. The severe weather threat for Monday and Tuesday does stay off to our south and west. On Wednesday, we do have a risk to keep an eye on here. I think during the daylight hours of Wednesday, storms will form well out to our west. Then Wednesday night through Thursday morning, they'll move east south eastward. Overall, the severe weather risk is pretty low just due to uncertainty in how the storm cluster will develop. But nonetheless, it'll be that Wednesday night into Thursday morning time frame that we'll keep an eye on, at least if we do have a chance of severe weather this week. It's not a for certain thing, but that would be the time frame to watch as we go through this week. So for today, mostly sunny, 86, some scattered storms on Monday, more showers and storms on Tuesday. Again, nothing severe here, just some locally heavy rain possible. Dry on Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday, some more storms, and we'll keep the storm chance in the forecast through the end of the week and even into Saturday. Saturday as well.